late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Tonight's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of St Ives of the beginning of our new king's reign. Yesterday, the accession council met at St James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags which had flown at half mast since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The accession council also made an order requiring high sheriffs to cause the proclamation to be read in the areas of their jurisdiction. High Sheriff, of, High Sheriff of Cornwall discharged that duty earlier today and now, with my humble duty, first in English and then in Cornish, I now bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of St Ives. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call his mercy our late sovereign, Lady Queen Elizabeth II of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lord Spiritual and Temporal of this realm, members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London, and others do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege Lord Charles III. By the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, Beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Amen. Given at St James's Palace this 11th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022, God save the King. God save the King. Hotel Blickius, the Jew of Golosic, go well, the Degaver, Agon Sovereign Tremenis, our Lord, Mitternes, Elizabeth and Nessa. Agova Venigis Haglorius. The Vitremen then, Curran Aruvana Thunis, Avretan the Hagiwev Anglef, Udehevis, in Unique Hagin Composta, the Pensevic Charles Philip Arthur George. Ni, Itho, Arlithis Brissel, Halea Gamwaskulma, Esel Chiagamenin, Kefriza Ezeli Errol, a Consul Priva Himere, Tremeris. A canaso, a glassorio, a chiretho, and a govogon, a bruzi londres hagero, a dillo, a warn you gandun led, a both a tavas hakolon, bos lenin, and pensevic, Charles Philip Arthur George, the Vernans agan sovereign, a gova loan, drahevis agan oluf, liege lapo, a guernic, Charles and Tressa. Jeraz Du and Ruvanis Unis, a Vretanberg, Hagimwethan, Glef, Hagi Waswovo, a Chiretho Errol, Mikturn, Chief Lairs and Kemin, Defender and Kijans, Mer Swanis, Lenduri Hakusita, Vogo Gans, Heragath Uvel, O Pisi Du Drevo, May Rain, Miturne for Miturneso, May Finkyo Imoreth, Gans Blithano, here are Lowen, the rain, Warnam, the rivers, the Lis St. Janid, the Digvegves Dif, a Viscangala in Blethen Agan Oluf, Duvil, Duval Nugans, we salute and Vitten. Salute and Vitten. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thank you for the latest flowers. Shall I ring the bells, Madam Mayor? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> God save the king. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. God save our gracious king. Long live our noble king. God save the king. Send him victorious, happy and glorious. Long to reign over 
you very much for coming out, everybody. Thank you.